Um, <laughs> today, I will start by uh, discussing the movie Men Who Stare at Goats, starring George Clooney and directed by Grant Heslov. And here's a clip for that. Okay. Um, Men Who Stare at Goats is about a reporter named Bob Wilton, played by Ewan McGregor, who is kind of going through a midlife, or not a midlife crisis, but just a, a personal crisis as his wife has left him for another man. And to, to prove that he's still a man, he decides to take on a reporting job in Iraq to, and uh, report on the war. And while he's there, he runs into a man named Lynn Cassidy, played by George Clooney, who is part of a secret um, government organization that uh, study in psychic slash green technologies um, who unofficially are called the Jedi. <laughs> and uh, as he's following him and through uh, Iraq, um, you kind of see some back flashes and stuff of how this organization got started in the 60s and 70s and you meet other characters such as Bill Jango, played by Jeff Bridges, who's kind of their their druggy guru, and uh, Larry Hooper, who's like the weaselly man who wants to take uh, the whole organization to the dark side, played by Kevin Spacey. So as you can see here, we have an all-star cast of really good character actors, and I think they're all kind of playing their A game here. Um, I, I thought this movie was hilarious. Uh, very ridiculous. Um, apparently this is based on a true story, and if, if that is the case, then this is definitely the case where truth is stranger than fiction. <laughs> and uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't even go back very far. It, um, the movie ends in the timeline around 2002, 2003, so I thought that was kind of interesting. However, I, I do have to say that the, uh, the movie kind of builds to a somewhat disappointing climax. Uh, the third act, I think, is the weakest of the of the movie, and it starts to get um, a little esoteric and and even more out there than the movie already already was setting up. So in some ways, it's almost like like this grand epic comedy on a level of like Apocalypse Now. <laughs> but yeah, I gave it a B minus, and uh, I think that if if you know what you're getting into, um, there's somewhat kind of Cohen ish humor, and if you like. Uh, all of these actors, Kevin Spacey and George Clooney especially, then you'll enjoy the movie. Uh, I'd also enjoyed this movie. It was, uh, it was a good comedy. Uh, I think my favorite part was the individual actors, like you're saying, you know, it's mm -hmm. full of stars and everyone, everyone has just this great character they have to be. Yeah. And I think that as the movie is overall movie, was actually kind of disappointing, but yeah, and each individual storyline was really cool. Like I liked everybody's character. I liked all the main characters, but just their characters. I didn't like the plot line they were trying to follow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, the plot seemed really kind of loose. Like uh, you were sort of just wondering where this movie was going for a long part of it, which is why the, I think the ending was so disappointing. Is that it felt like it was really building up to this to this huge climax, and then nothing really happens. Um, but I, I think for the characters alone, this movie's definitely worth seeing. Yeah, no, I think um, I have to agree that yeah, it had kind of one of those endings where you're like, really? <laughs> but um, for the most part, uh, I think the storyline holds a lot for itself. I don't know. Um, all the, it's like uh, nowadays all the war movies like Hurt Locker, Jar they're all these really serious what's going wrong. Yeah. And it's kind of nice to finally have a comedy war movie. Yeah, I, kind of the ridiculousness of yeah, war. Yeah, it's yeah. a good it's a uh, good reliever from everything that we're having. Yeah, I mean everything is heavy. Very heavy. Yeah. And yeah, now we have this good comedy. It's got George Clooney in it, which I liked. Yeah. He's in everything right now. He I is. Busiest admit. guy in Hollywood. He's in two of our movies, and he was also in uh, Up in the Air this year, and yeah. <laughs> so. But at the very least, it's funny to hear uh, Ewan McGregor say, what's a Jedi? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I think this script was very self-aware of itself. Yeah. <laughs> it had that uh, element to it where they kept bringing things up that you were like, yeah, they definitely know what, yeah, like the characters seem to have some idea of what they were 
that they had passed in different <laughs> movies. Yeah. <laughs> so that was cool. I did like that play. So what grade did you give it? I gave it probably a B. Def yep. Not quite good enough to be A material, mm -hmm. but... I could see it kind of being a cult film in time, like uh, when uh, Big Lebowski first came out. Yeah. Um, a lot of critics really didn't know what to do with the movie. The, the plot's really all over the place. and But at the end of the day, it made you laugh. And I think that's what comedies are supposed to do. Definitely.